Yo, what is up, you guys? Over there partying like every day is your birthday on this beautiful Tuesday morning for you guys. I told y'all we were going to start reacting to more top 10s and uh, those longer type of videos, and that's what exactly we are doing. So uh, today we got an absolute beautiful Vinny 2 video for you guys. We got top 10 most anticipated spring 2022 anime. So we're going to see be seeing the best stuff this spring. We checked out some winter ones. We gotta know what's happening in the spring, man. So we're gonna get the whole seasonal rotation of it all. So shout out to VinnyTube. You know we love their top tens. Always giving us some great, great fire stuff. They really deserve some love. So make sure you go show it to them. And uh, we're gonna hop right into this, man. If you guys got any videos you do want me to see, in the description. The winter season's been a bang. Hey. The usual suspects, you know, the blockbusters that we always knew were going to be blockbusters. However, there have also been some surprising contenders too. Anyone that one I was surprised. Up, darling, to become as popular as it turned out to be, I guess with a charismatic female lead and a healthy dose of fan service, anything is possible. Still, if you thought the winter was big, you haven't seen anything. Hey, the spring, you see the spring man. Show that can rival AOT or Demon Slayer in terms of being big hits. But looking at the overall lineup, I actually see an arguably deeper selection than what we've got now. So oh, look, you better yeah. get ready because the fun's not about to end anytime soon. Oh, this is good stuff. However, Ooh, before shit. we begin, how about having a treat? That's right, today's video is brought to you by Sakurako. Sakurako's a I don't usually watch these, but I want to watch this. In Japanese snacks. Sakurako seeks to spread the joy of Japanese sweets and tea ceremony culture through these top-notch boxes. So now, even if you live miles away from Japan, Some good you can still box. have the Japanese experience inside your home. For only a reasonably cheap subscription fee, you get your monthly dose of Japanese snacks by the best creators from Japan. You get one every Japan. month, you guys. These That's pretty nice. bring the taste of Japan to your doorstep, and you couldn't ask for a more authentic and enjoyable glimpse into Japanese Japanese tea time than with what Sakurako will be bringing you. That I bet Japanese tea is banging. Whoa, jelly, Sakura jelly. Is that like y'all like jelly jam? Like you know jam jelly, or like hair gel? I don't know. I can attest to personally with my experience. Good, and I really love their recent box. This month's box theme is Sakura Afternoon Tea, and you can enjoy a Hanami picnic Ooh, at your those? home. As an aside, I also find it pretty cool that the box doesn't just contain Japanese snacks. It also has kitchenware, you know. So check out the link in the description box. Ooh, that's a tough Vinny. little glass right $5 there. $5 off your first box. $5? Let me holla. That's what we kitchenware. like to hear, y'all. No, I love like? me a sale. Get your Sakura subscriptions now. Selection Shout out, man. Sekaiye. We kick things off with a sports show, the newest football sensation, Ao Ashi. Is it just me or is there a lack of soccer? This one does look good. We've I checked this one out. Tsubasa and the That's facts. Yo, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the only two soccer shows that I've really heard of is Blue Lock and this, and these are both just coming out now. Now, how we not have more soccer enemies? You gotta show this, you know, the soccer sports some love, man. Upcoming Blue Lock, but it's sorely missing that one title that everyone would think of when it comes to a certain sport, like Guroko or Slam Dunk, Haikyuu, Ippo, Prince of Tennis, that sort of title. Awashi, frankly speaking, doesn't seem to be on that trajectory. Still, it's a show that sports fans should definitely look forward to. <laughs> Did he say it is not on the road to be one of those? A certain sport, like Guroko or Slam Dunk, Haikyuu, Ippo, Prince of Tennis, that sort of title. Awashi, frankly speaking, doesn't seem to be on that trajectory. That's Still, tough. it's a show that sports fans should definitely look forward to. Awashi's a very interesting sports anime because instead of the usual inter-school settings, it's a show that goes beyond schools and starts dabbling on the actual big leagues. It's a tale of determination and redemption that creates an atmosphere that's familiar, yet ultimately different. After all, this one's all about facing your weakness as compared to the most external challenges sports anime gives our heroes. Awashi starts off looking like a series about overcoming adversity and turning disappointments into paths of greatness. Typical sports ace obsession. If he made me. that, that Whether was a tough ass goal. One of the next big sports titles, well, that remains to be seen, but I'm definitely looking forward to it still. That one does look pretty good. Hey, you guys, I said it in the one video, but I forgot which one I said it in. Probably was the Ash video, but I didn't look. So I'm going to look at that one, but I'm going to look at this one too. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think is going to be a better soccer one this year? The uh, blue lock, or do you think Al Ash is gonna take it home? Let me know, man. Oh, I see. 
in the ninth slot is Domodachi Game. Here's something I've taken some interest in for some time now. Domodachi Game, if you were to ask me to quickly describe it, feels a bit like Danganronpa, or quite frankly, a lot of those edgy trust and betrayal games. Friends forced to play a high stakes game when there's a hidden antagonist and they experience Ooh. the gradual fracturing of their seemingly all powerful bonds like seems to be the niche edgy hit of the season. While not quite as violent as the titles that have had that description, you know, like Platinum End, Darwin's Game, Battle in Five Seconds, Ooh, Lion Darwin's game, and stuff game? like that. I can guarantee that Domodachi Game sure can bring about that. the same type of vibes these shows have. Having read the manga, I also like how cleverly the games Ooh. get thought out. Is that a thumbnail right there? Ooh, that might be the thumbnail right there. Y'all can't tell me that wouldn't be a good little thumbnail image. I'm finna hit a... Right there? Yeah, that's... Or, but I'm gonna be on the other side? Yeah, that's definitely gonna be the thumbnail. Let me just... So I know where that is, bro. It was Let's a joy get to seeing it. the characters express themselves throughout the games. Looking to be a cult hit this season, Domodachi Game could be your jam. Might be my jam and jelly. At number eight is Summertime see, Render. What? It's about time what for one is of those going shows on? again. Water, bro. Time travel. The chance to redo what you did wrong in exchange for the chance of a happy ending. The first few preview time picks travel. may not give off this impression, but Summertime Render is one hell of a thrilling adventure using the time travel through death concept. The premise is simple. Shadows threaten to doom an island, and Shinpei must use his powers of time travel to find the root cause of the destruction and save everyone. As for how this is different from something like Erased or ReZero, I'd gladly say that Summertime Render has won up the titles by eventually eventually introducing higher stakes and limitations to the power, marking the race Ooh. to the finish line a very exciting This year might be kind of tough. Indeed, it's a that that might be kind of tough. Of days, so I'm very high on this title. I hope that the anime version just does it justice too. I'm going to take your word Seven for it, Vinny. Is the next season of one of my favorite harems, Date Alive. Oh, Date Alive? What kind of date is they going on? Third time's the charm, I guess. Originally slated to air as early as late 2021, Data Live's fourth season had a rough going. Two delays, but it looks like we're all oh, set for I've it to go this. this spring. With this being the fourth installment of a franchise, I guess it's better to talk about the premise from the get-go. Basically, think something like World God Only Knows we with definitely lots of seen badass this. powers and battles. Data Live is a fun series that combines some crazy elements that somehow work so well together. The dating sim thing, the harem, the tuny fights, it's a show that's emblematic of what the scene was like in the early 2010s, and I'm so glad it's still going strong to this day. This season now takes the team to the next two spirits, I remember that crazy shit. Solve the puzzle of love with spirits Nia and Muguro. The last few revelations about the world begin to unfold as the show begins to head towards the end game. One that would honestly take around another season or two. Now, I didn't expect to get this That's far. That music is Four just seasons for a franchise with moderate man. international popularity is a lot. Things are about to heat up afterwards, though, so let's cross our fingers for a full adaptation. Day to Life Fever is still going strong in Asia. So I'm keeping my hopes up. Keep my fingers crossed with you, big dog. Next at number six on the list is Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. We only on number six. <laughs> Imagine yourself being this unfortunate guy. Coming home every... <laughs> bro, how the hell are we only on number six, dog? That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. I just thought we were damn near done with the video, bro. That's crazy. We're only on six. Let's get to it. Next at number six on the list is Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie. Dun, 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 dun. Imagine yourself being this unfortunate guy, coming home every day with nothing but disappointment. Only one thing can save you, right? That's tough, yep, man. I'm talking about the perfect girlfriend. Shikimori, in a lot of ways, is that Shut up, confident, man. perfect girlfriend faithful, always gonna be good. You feel me? Caring, not to mention a complete beauty too. But how would you deal with a girlfriend who can also be so cool in the most frightening way possible? Yes, it's the seasonal rom-com that pairs a miss. Right. I don't see. I don't know if I want a girlfriend that's frightening, bro. Let me know in the comments, bro. Y'all like the frightening chick? You like to get a little scary? Beauty, too. But how would you deal with a girlfriend who can also be so cool in the most frightening way possible? Yes, it's the seasonal rom-com that pairs a mismatched couple. Opposites do attract, and having read some of the manga, I can say that seeing the beta and shy male character interact with this very commanding beauty of a girlfriend is a joy. It's a very enjoyable slice of life, and I'll put some slight Yandere alerts out for you. Shikimori comes to us this April. It's still too yes, early to tell, but I'm seeing this as a sleeper hit of the season. 
Yoshi. Hey, she got the pink hair too, though. Shout out, this bro. I, I knew everyone was waiting for Gomi san, and it's one of the best shows of its season, so I was a bit bummed that it split court. But we don't have to wait any longer, as we'll finally have the continuation of this sweet school comedy. And I think it deserves it. The first season is a very fun and cute comedy that hoists up the social anxiety angle as its hook, and it works spectacularly. The episodes, while some being slow in actual Can't development, were never my a chore to watch, as the shit. characters are so charming and engaging. I'd also love to give a shout out to the series production qualities with its visuals and sounds. Will we see more of the same in season two? Will we get more developments in the relationship? Damn, bro. I, I, I want to be her, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> that whole class is freaking out. I don't know what she did, bro, but she got a... I don't know. She probably got the lunch the lunch fix. That's what she probably did. She probably got them to get gourmet lunches, bro. I'd do that. If someone did that in my school, I'd give them a round of applause. Worked spectacularly. The episodes, while some being slow in actual developments, were never a chore to watch, as the characters are so charming and engaging. And also, the news in there too? to the series production qualities with its visuals and sounds. Will we see more of the same in season two? Will we get more she developments partying, like, in every day between birthday. Tommy That's for and sure. Dardano? All signs are pointing to a resounding yes. And I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Fourth on our list today is the movie. Oh, I, this one looks awesome. Shit looks so just beautiful, man. I've talked about this before, and as its release nears, I've retained those positive impressions for Bubble. A brainchild of some of the brightest minds in the industry, Whoa. Bubble, in my thought, is a movie showcasing youthful energy. Taking place in a Tokyo that's been... Oh my god, bro, look at that. See, that's what I... Ooh, I just want to touch it, man. This is why y'all like Bubble, bro. I don't even know. I really hope they got a good storyline and everything with it. I know I've heard it before, but you know, you, you can hear it and it's not going to turn out like you hear it. You feel me? It could be totally different. So I'm just really hoping they got a great storyline behind it because I just, bro, the visuals alone makes me just enjoy this one. It just got such different ones. You know what I mean? Like these ones with the bubbles right here don't look like that. You know what I'm saying? And that don't look like that so yeah you just get to get a little flavor of everything bro love me some flavor i've talked about this before and as its release nears i've retained those positive impressions for bubble a brainchild of some of the brightest minds in the industry Damn, bubble in my thought is a movie showcasing that's just beautiful energy taking place in a tokyo that's been isolated the movie deals with people who've since taken up parkour to battle each other jumping from building to building oh, it's, it's also the story of a meeting between each other? parkour prodigy hibiki and uta a girl with powers it's hard not to get excited with the trailer that's dropped the whole thing just looks breathtakingly beautiful and i like how the art and animation managed to capture the thrill Park of a sport such as parkour. The plot itself doesn't seem to be anything unique, but as I always That's say, either gonna be really good or really shit. Things. Will it be able That's to rise the to become the best standalone anime movie in 2022? It's honestly too early to tell, but the potential is there, and with these amazing creators at the it's helm, there. anything can happen. We'll see what they do oh, with the potential. We'll see what they do with it, miss. In their hands. The Rising ah, of the shield. shield Hero. It's an isekai that I really liked. People looked forward to it and it had its fair share of controversies back then. Funny to think that what Shield Hero had to go through is pretty much child's play compared to the stuff that's happened to other titles since then. Oh, but the that guess. one? Overall, that shield shit was Hero scary, is a nice bro. That mainly thrives on the dynamic of its lead party. The first season was a joy to watch, not only due to the redemption I ain't gonna lie, that that scared the shit out of me when I watched that trailer, moments video of mine, by the way, so check that out. But also because of how Nao Fumi and Raph Talia grow and play off each other as characters. I'm very excited for the second season because after the ride that was the Kalmira Island arc, we'll be seeing the team take on the Spirit Turtle. Oh, some cool people from the, the past Spirit will also be turtle. a much awaited return. Bro, I don't know what that is. Well, I mean, it's a spirited turtle, but I want to see it, you know what I mean? I want to see that. That sounds like just some dope Avatar turtle, like that. Bro, remember that turtle from Avatar? The one damn near the end? That was a fluke-ass turtle, bro. I want to see another turtle like that. Dark, we'll be seeing the team take on the spirit turtle. Oh, some cool people from the past will also be making a much-awaited return as powerful allies. I won't spoil it for you, but I'm sure some of you can already it, guess who that might just be. I can't, so I'm not even going to Our second try. most anticipated anime of the season Spy is Spy Family. Family. A spy anime, this is definitely going to be elements. that anime. Spy bro. family is quite the wild one, putting together three peculiar individuals in a pretend family, all for the sake of their missions. A spy, an assassin, 
and a psychic girl. This short looks like a recipe for a lot of fun adventures ahead, both in their respective assignments and trying to keep their identities a secret. Besides the setup, I find watching this family go through their mundane lives to be very entertaining. You see, they may be... Sp this shit gonna be tough, y'all, because I already... I think it's just gonna have a great storyline to it, because I know it's gonna be like, they all, you know, have their different families, but I think they're all finna, you know, come together and spy harmonicity. And I think it's just gonna end up being a really, really good action-packed anime. Bro. Specialists in their fields, when it comes to everyday stuff, they tend to be some of the most hilarious, she seems fluid too, bro. People she got them lifeline drumsticks. She's been very be funny. Funny. people with that shit. Is the action comedy that we all needed. People are awaiting its grand debut into the anime world, and rightfully so. Probably gonna be the best new anime this season will have to offer. Dame da. Nikaiteki. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yo, my fault. I ain't mean to stop it again. But, uh, do you guys think this would be a better thumbnail? Because. Nah, hell no. Nah, that shit is ass. I'm definitely not using yes. that one. Gargoya, <laughs> Miyuki, and the like rest of the gang times are back better. at it again the third though. season. Shit. This time subtitled, Gargoya sama Ultra Romantic. It's been quite a long road for Gargoya sama but with all these anime seasons and the immense popularity that doesn't look to be waning anytime soon, it's safe to say that Bro, gargoya sama is probably the iconic rom-com of this generation. The galaxy brain battle between our two leads has enthralled anime fans worldwide, and things just keep getting crazier with Ooh, each that's a nice one. New characters Ooh, right. get introduced, so much developments turn the stage just crawl over its head, and there's a lot of fun to be had. We're still what the seeing shit? many exciting arcs and segments from the manga to see anime for some time now. Oh my god, what did I just do? Bro, his eye had a muscle. And I said, he literally... Bro, his eye has arms. That's kind of... Actually, bro, I don't know if that would be fluke or not. What if you got an argument with your eye and that shit would not want to come out? No, nah, hell no. I'm glad I don't got no bullshit like that. Arcs and segments from the manga to see animated. The third season Still will cool, have though. a lot more of that. After all, things are starting to heat up with the relationship between our leads. Who will be the breakout star character of this season? There's only one way to find out, and that's by tuning into the third season of this hit rom-com. <laughs> Woo! Gaguya Sama is your most anticipated title this spring season, or is it Spy Family? Whatever it is, it's pretty good, bro. Reason, so they all look pretty damn good, man. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Let me know down in the comments which one are you guys most excited for, visual wise. Bubble, I'm most excited for storyline wise. Definitely, bro, Spy Family for sure, bro. Definitely Spy Family for sure. I'm going to have to give it to. But uh, I would love to know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Most anticipated ones of spring. We got a lot of... Spring got a big name to live up to, bro. And, you know, winter, winter came in strong. So uh, we're going to have to see if spring takes the cake or... Uh, it's going to be a shitty anime season. But y'all be easy, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. We're going to be checking a lot more of these top 10, you know, longer videos out for you guys. A lot more, y'all, as you know requests and uh, all that good jimmy jazz man so if you guys want to see some great little videos send me something down in the description man but y'all be easy and deuces